Hello everyone, welcome to the Bison Coaches Corner. Time to talk Bison women's basketball with head coach Carolyn Dehoff. I'm Jeremy Jorgensen and coach, you had a couple of home games this week at the Bison Sports Arena, South Dakota and Denver. You split those two games. Give us an overall assumption of uh, what your thoughts were on the weekend. Well, um, I, I honestly am pleased with the way our players came out and responded on Saturday. Um, I thought we were rather lethargic, as did our players um, on Thursday. I thought they, they battled back in the second half. But, okay. um, you know, you can't just keep playing from, you know, uphill uh, against teams and certainly struggled to score. I uh, thought we had the looks, but I thought our kids really came out and battled, uh, you know, against Denver. I think we were down 12 at one point uh, and just continued to compete. And, that, you know, even, even though Thursday was the result that it was, I still yeah. believe our kids continue to compete and continue to give themselves a chance to get back into games and to win games. And we did that on Saturday. Let's look at the highlights from Thursday. First, uh, South Dakota, the Coyotes came in, struggled a little bit early in the season, but they have their star C camp back and she's a fantastic player and give us a, a summary of the first half if you will well you know there's Contreras hitting a three and that was that was close in compared to, <laughs> compared to where she can really shoot it um, you know we, again there you know Tia she really improved her game from one year uh, you know there to the next and uh, again, good look there by, by Mickey, a nice draw kick, uh, you know, to her spotting up. And uh, we just, we couldn't get over the hump, uh, you know, to take the lead, you know, to feel comfortable, uh, you know, to get enough confidence to really get back in the game there with South Dakota. You know, I really thought Mickey Stephenson had a nice game. Uh, she really did, and it certainly hurt us when, you know, we had to put her on the, the bench. You know, my philosophy is you get two fouls. Oftentimes, you know, you'll, you'll sit uh, the first half so that we can have you there for the second half. And, you know, maybe should have looked at maybe putting her back in because I think it was about the 16-minute mark that she ended up with two and certainly had a big second half for us. So, you know, we talked a little bit to her, mm -hmm. you know, about being a little bit smarter, you know, when you get your first foul and not to get yourself in that situation to draw the second because you know, you know, chances are we'll sit you. But uh, certainly, you know, played a great second half for us and even you know had a good game for us on Saturday as well. What would you think of Seacamp? This was her first action in about a month or so and uh, she had double digit points and ended up being a big factor in the game. Uh, she really did. Well, I think she had 13, yeah. you know, and that's coming off the bench and she's very capable. It just tells you what, you know, she's capable of when she's healthy. Yeah. Uh, and so certainly, you know, um, somebody to pay attention to. I, I thought our kids did, uh, you know, we cut it there at one point and, you know, two threes by Contreras really kind of, you know, broke our back and certainly gave them, you know, the momentum that they needed to ma maintain the lead in the second half. So um, again, you know, it's, it's players make plays. Yep. Uh, and South Dakota did that, and I think we made, made enough plays on Saturday, you know, to win that game. And let's look at the highlights from the Denver game uh, Saturday at the Bison Sports Arena. Again, a tough first half in this one as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we have to change baskets, you know. <laughs> Again, had good looks and just couldn't finish. There's a, a great back cut and a nice feed there from uh, Brooke to Marina. Uh, and uh, again, you know, you just got to continue to battle. Again, a nice draw kick to Emily on the back side. Our kids do a good job of getting into slides, what we talk about on dribble penetration. There's a nice dribble out by Alyssa. Had some good ball movement there that created that open look for her. Boy, Brooke Lamar was fantastic this whole game, wasn't she? Uh, she really did. You know, we found, you know, a mismatch a little bit with her uh, with Denver. And certainly, you know, you feed the hot hand. Our kids did a great job of that. We called a few things for her as well. But again, nice little hesitation, pullback, freeze your defender and attack an open game. Yeah. Well, talk about the end of this game now. In the second half, you shot very well, shot lights out, and it ended up being the difference in the game. Well, it's amazing. You know, the game comes down to yeah. something very simple, and that's to put the ball in the basket. But give the kids credit, again, just continuing to battle, continuing to step up to take shots. There's a great shot by Bree Watman. You know, Kayla Beckett and Bree Watman, you know, they're our two guards, and we need those yeah. two kids to hit some shots and certainly did that. There's a great dribble penetration by Brooke late uh, to an end one, and certainly she made her free throws down the stretch as well. You know, in the in the box score, it may not say it, but I thought Kayla Beckin uh, played very well. Um, she did. You know, just really settled down. You know, had a tough first half. Yep. Uh, you know, had, a, had an early turnover in the second half and just stuck with her and said, you know, just let her play through it. Uh, and she certainly did that. And again, you know, those corner threes, uh, you know, yep. that kid could knock him down. Marina found her on the backside one, which was really huge for us. So you win this game, Coach, and how, how good did that feel? I mean, 
you know, you work so hard throughout the course of the week in practice. You game plan all these games. You, you get a W. It has to feel good. Oh, it, it, it certainly does. And just again, just from what the feeling was on Thursday and, and to have a, a young group as we are, yep. you know, to really just be able to pick it up on Friday uh, and respond so well as they did on Saturday, you know, that, that builds confidence for us as a group, builds confidence as coaches and what our players are able to do uh, and certainly have a tough road trip ahead of us uh, and look forward to our players being able to continue that through uh, this week of practice into this weekend. You know, on the surface, this road trip looks really tough, IUPUI, IPFW, but if you look back at those games at the BSA, you basically had IPFW beat, and IUPUI is a very, very good team, athletic, but uh, there were points in that game as well that you had some chances. Yeah, we really did. You know, uh, let them get off going early there. Uh, you know, Nicole Rogers hit three threes, uh, you know, and those yep. are kind of backbreakers. Um, again, didn't shoot it particularly well. I thought we had some good looks against IUPUI. PUI and certainly against IPFW. Um, our kids did a great job on both ends of the floor. It was a great battle, you know, between both teams. Uh, came down, you know, to some free throws made by Amanda Hyde there to put us into the first overtime. Came down to a three, you know, that she made there too. And so, again, players making plays. Our kids made enough plays too to send that into a double overtime. Um, you know, so I look for great battles with both of these teams this weekend and for our kids to really step up. I think the difference that I uh, gathered from these two teams, IPFW has two big-time scores. IUPUI gets scoring from all over the place, so they're tough to prepare for. They're so different in that regard, aren't they? Uh, they, they really are, and um, again, you just got to focus on one, uh, yep. and certainly uh, we'll do that uh, this week and may splash a little bit of IPFW in there early, uh, which sometimes you do when you only have a day in between you sure. know, the two games. So uh, we'll certainly do that and try to get our kids focused on one, move to the other, and then move back to IUPUI. Well, good luck to you, Coach. I know it's a tough road trip, but it's a great opportunity as well, and good luck to you and the team. Thanks so much, Jeremy. All right, media coverage for these uh, games, 740 The Fan with Jack Michaels on Thursday and on Saturday. He'll have all the calls for you, and we'll recap these games next week on the Bison Coaches Corner. Have a great week.